Okay, we got a reinforced concrete section. It's uh, rectangular. And it's 300 millimeters wide and uh, 600 millimeters in height. The area of steel is 315 M's. A 15M bar is 200 millimeters squared. So 3 times 15 M's area of steel 600 millimeters squared. And then if we look at the stress diagram, draw it here. We are looking for the moment that we can put on this section that would just make the bottom fibers in the concrete crack. So we're looking for what kind of moment which would cause F cracking in the bottom fibers of the concrete. Top fibers would be just FC. And then where the steel is, this is the stress in the steel divided by the modular ratio. Now these 315M bars can be lumped into an equivalent concrete section. I'll just hatch it here. And the area of this uh, transformed section of, of rebar to concrete is the modular ratio minus one times the area of the steel. So to get the uh, end value we have to find out what the uh, the modulus of elasticity of the steel and concrete are. So the modulus of elasticity of the concrete can be determined from the 28 day compressive strength of the concrete. And we're saying that the 28 day compressive strength F prime C is 30 MPa and the F yield of the rebar is 400 MPa and the modulus of elasticity of steel it's always 200,000 MPa and the E of the concrete is 4500 times the square root of F prime C. So 4500 times the square root of 30. That comes out to be 24,000, approximately 24,650 MPa. So the uh, N value it's just the ratio of the E of the steel over the E of the concrete, which is 200,000 divided by 24,650. So that's 200,000 divided by 24,650. And that's uh, 8.11. So we can find the area transformed of the steel AT as 8.11 minus 1 times 600 millimeters squared. That would equal 4,266. millimeters squared. The uh, cracking moment is uh, the tensile, the maximum tensile stress that concrete can take. And, that's li and that limit is 0 0.6 times the square root of F prime C. So 0 0.6 times the square root of 30. And that's uh, 
about 3.29 MPa. So uh, we can start the program. Uh, we can we can find out the cracking moment. Or the cracking stress is 3.29 MPa. We can find the cracking moment uh, by first getting the neutral axis. So to take to find neutral axis, we just really just take y bar areas uh, over area and and solve for the uh, y bar. So y bar is equal to this area of concrete 300 times 600 times uh, 600 over 2 plus the transformed area of the steel which is 4266 that's the area times its distance to the from, from its centroid to the bottom fibers so we'll say that this is uh, 550, <coughs> so that would be uh, 50 millimeters. The distance from here to here is 600 minus 550. And then you divide by <coughs> the area is 300 times 600 plus 4,266. So we work that out, it's 300 times 600 times 600 over 2 plus 42.66 times 50 divided by 300 times 600 <coughs> plus 42.66. That comes out to be 294.2 <coughs> millimeters. So that's the distance from the neutral axis to the bottom fibers and bending 294.2 and then the distance from here to here would be 600 minus 294.2 so 600 minus 294.2 305.8 <coughs> millimeters 